All right, guys, Carlton Flowers here, your crypto pro, back with another vacation special report on the Labbits. I had to get this in. I had a full day of surfing and a lot of sightseeing, and we're cooking dinner right now. I was going to try to shoot this video update about the Labbit drop because I didn't get to wrap it up. I didn't get a chance to do that this morning, and so now here it is about 6.30, running at uh, running close to 7 o'clock p.m., and I was just shocked when I jumped on the app to notice the action that was going on with these Labbits. Let's just jump straight in. Now, first of all, on the drop, I was uh, unlucky enough to get the error code when I tried the Clockgate 2.0 to snag one of these backstab Smorkin Labbits, the ultra rare. Now, I'll tell you what, I didn't expect to get it. There was only 888, and I knew that there was probably a couple hundred thousand people that were going to be up on top of this, most of which who were were probably well-versed in what to do to get something on a drop, and a lot of which who probably use the various methods of cheating, you know, multiple emulators running scripts or what have you. There's a lot of different ways that people can use to be the first in line to snag these things and sometimes multiple items. So I knew that the chances were slim. That's a whole point. But I wanted to try anyway. And I thought, well, if I don't get the ultra rare, I'll jump in and I'll get the rares. So I tried to get the rares after that. They were both sold out. By the time I went back just to pull up, the visible labbit. It was gone. By the time I refreshed to get the neon visible labbit, it was gone. So I had to settle. I jumped on the snork the smork and labbit red, the uncommon, and then I jumped on the smork and labbit choice cuts because I thought it was funny. And then I went ahead and I bought the happy stash labbit, the common. So I thought after that drop that I wasted my money because there were several Happy Stash Labbits that were left over. It was not selling out. I mean, it was there for days and did not sell out. And then there were several of the Choice Cuts Labbits that were sitting on the market at less than retail. And then, of course, the, the red one, there was a few that were less than retail and then mostly the base levels of the retail price and then a little bit more. So I thought, oh, well, I guess if I hang on to these for a year or two, maybe they'll end up worth something. Well, let's just jump back and see what's going on. Since I had that little sad sap moment where I was crying and complaining, thinking I should have saved my money. Well, let's just jump right in on the Happy Stash Labbit that was $25 at retail price and see what it's doing on the market. Let's just check the level. I'm outside and I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi. This is all building up to something that will be well worth your wait. All right, we're going to turn off this garbage Wi-Fi and we're going to back it up again and try it happy stash there it is all right guys let's check out the price and thanks for bearing with me through all of that all that hubbub 238 for sale on the market retail value 25 bucks and it was selling for less than retail and i was sad because it took so long to sold out, so to sell out and look at that floor price can you believe it 42 dollars is the cheapest one and up from there. That is a shock. That's a shock, guys. This is almost at a double. All right, if we knock out the first 15 or 20, we are at a double. That's ridiculous. Doubling in price. The Labbits coming in strong. Shocking, impressing, looking good. Let's let's just look at the, the choice cuts. Now, the choice cuts this morning when I looked in, you could still get it for less than retail. Let's see where it's at right now at this very point. 251 for sale on the market. Boom. Base price, $44. $45. $45. $45. 45 Jumping up to dollars $47.77. $48.40. $48.99. $49.99. $49.90. $50. Not too many auctions there or listings to get us up to the $50 base level. That's ridiculous, guys. That's ridiculous. I knew it this morning just because of the chatter that was going on about how popular 
that this item was because it's funny. I think it's really funny. There was a lot of talk going on about this possibly being one that impresses in the future. That jumps up in price and sure enough it did. All right, let's look at the rest here. The ones that I uh, did not get, well, no, there's one more that I did get. It's the Smokin' Labbit Red, Smorkin', Smorkin', pardon me. Let's see what Smorkin' Labbit Red is doing. There's only 181 for sale in the market, if that's any indication. Retail price of 30 bucks and the base price, $72. Can you believe that? Look at these prices, guys. 72, 73, 73, 73, 99, 74, 75, 99, 78, 78, boom. Moving on up, 79, 79, 40, 79, 99, 80. Bam. That is just ridiculous. This is one that I'm going to hold on for the long term. So I went from being sad and depressed that I wasted my money on two commons that might not amount to anything to two commons that have doubled almost doubled, and to an uncommon that it's on its way to a triple. Insane, guys. Totally insane. I'm happy I got what I could get. Now, let's check out the visible. Where do you see the last one? You're not going to believe it. There's 211. We're at 127.99 and moving on up from that price just like the Jeffersons. Oh, well, we're moving on up. Yes, we are. All right, let's check out the other Visible Labbit, the Neon Edition, 176 for sale, 147. Wow, 149, straight to 150, right out the box. This is incredible, guys. Totally incredible. Okay, now the Piece de Resistance, which is the Backstab Smorkin Labbit, which had a retail price of 40, which was selling for maybe 100, 150 on the market just a day or two ago and started to move up from there to 200 to 300 to 400 to 500 to 599 there's only 75 left would you believe the price right now $1000 folks this might be a record $1000 can you believe it rock solid basement bargain basement price of $1000 the floor is still moving up. It very quickly goes to $1,100 and then $1,200. Why? Because there's only 888. And plus, it's very cool artwork. I think this is going to be one that might break all of the records. This is more impressive than the Ultraman Secret Rare, which right now is only being sold for four to 500 gems on the market. Can you believe this? And this little guy right here, it wasn't a secret rare. It's just a, an ultra rare. It's just a humble, a humble little ultra rare going above $1,000. Man, oh man, guys. This VV stuff is not playing around. Not playing around at all. Stay tuned. I'm going to have more updates. And when I get home, I will reveal the full strategy of what you can do to make big bucks on this thing. It's been a while since I was rolling in the dough on this, since the market went to pot on eBay, but things are coming up and we might get another chance. Like I said in the last video, if the stock market crashes and if the crypto market goes way down, the values of these VV items will probably dip down because they act just like cryptocurrency tokens. So pay attention to what I'm telling you. And I'll give you a few bits and pieces of the strategy while I'm on vacation. But when I get back, I'll have it all for you. All right? So do not be in despair. Never fear. We're going to get through it. This is Carlton, and I'm out. See you on the next one.